Hey everybody, some of you are watching this and you're from one of my three churches, Yonkers, Bedford Park, or, or Pauling. Some of you might be watching this and you're from a different church all around the world and uh, this message may not pertain to you because your situation might be different. Check with your local conference on best advice. I'm about to get to the advice for our, our context here in my churches in a moment. However, I want to encourage you, after if you're part of my three churches, after you watch this video, I would like you to click, if you're on the website, click on your church update specifically. Yonkers, click Yonkers update. Pauling, click Pauling update. Bedford Park, click Bedford Park update because each of you, I have a specific instructions now that circumstances have changed. I would you like you to watch this video first and then I would like you to go and watch the update that I have specifically for your church. I got another update today. Uh, I got uh, I called the conference uh, uh, earlier today, and they had a meeting, and now they are recommending that there will be no small group meetings until further notice. I know that I've been announcing that uh, for people to get together in uh, in Sabbath school groups or small groups and discuss the Sabbath school lesson. As of right now that idea has been suspended. I want you to stay safe, continue to wash your hands, uh, continue to, uh, to practice the social distancing that people have been talking about. You know, uh, this is just the reality of what we're living in. So what are we gonna do now? I mean, uh, uh, how are we gonna stay connected? I want to point you to the Bible right here. In Galatians chapter four, Galatians chapter four, it says in verse, 18 but it is good to be zealous in a good thing always you know we should be passionate we should be determined it's good to be zealous in a good thing always and not only when i am present with you uh, paul when he was writing galatians he was concerned because when he was with the galatians they became zealous, they were excited, but they were not zealous always. They were zealous while he was present with them. While he was with them, yeah, that uh, motivated them, and yeah, they, 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 they were on their best behavior. But when he was not with them, if you read earlier in the chapter, they straight away, they started worshiping false gods and things like that. Now, I don't think you're gonna be worshiping false gods or stuff like that, but there are ways that people can stray away when they're disconnected from people. When uh, a leader is not there with them, there's many opportunities for people to stray away. And that's why he says, he's encouraging them, I want you to maintain your zeal for the Lord even when I'm not present with you. Continuing on here, he says, my little children, for whom I labor in birth again until Christ is formed in you. Now, Paul knows nothing about giving birth, but he's like, if I, if, if there's anything that felt like giving birth is this, I felt like I've, I've labored for you. I felt like I was giving birth to you. I just want to give birth to Christ in you. Oh, those of you who know me, you know that my main message is Christ living in us. I want Christ to live in us. And I feel like I've put my heart and my soul into, into relaying messages and trying to prepare us uh, uh, in our hearts for to have Christ in it. I've labored in birth to form Christ in you. Verse 20, I would like to be present with you now and to change my tone. Why does he say that? Uh, uh, he wishes he could be there. He couldn't be there. He wanted to be there, but because of circumstances, he could not be present with them. I want to be there present with you. I want to be there uh, to preach face-to-face uh, -face with you, to interact with you, to hug you, to, to shake your hand. I wish I could be present with you, but I can't. He says, I wish I could change my tone. What does he mean by that? See, before... When he was there with them, he, he started to feel like, you know what? I feel like when I was there, maybe I should have spoken a little differently. Maybe I should have changed my tone. Maybe I was preaching too soft. Maybe I should have been a little bit more tough. I wish I could be there and change my tone. I wish I could be a little harder. 
But he says, I would like to be present with you now and to change my tone. Why? For I have doubts about you. One of the saddest statements that Paul has ever made. The reason why I wish I could be there right now and preach and change the, my, my tone and be a little harder because I have doubts about you. He says, I really wish you guys could be zealous even when I'm not there. But I got my doubts. You know, I, 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 I feel Paul because I got my doubts. You know, I wonder if my preaching has been in vain. Like it, it, I've been sharing messages. I've been trying to uh, promote a concept of church, a concept of fellowship, a concept of of being one with the Lord. Maybe I, I should have preached harder. Maybe my tone should have been a little bit more boom. I do have my doubts because, you know, right now we're, we're dealing with a situation of virus, but when there was no virus, what was the excuse back then? There are so many, there's so many people who don't need a virus to not get together. There are so many people who will be like, ah, oh, well, this Sabbath, I don't feel like it. During the week, oh man, I'm not, I'm not going to show up. Uh, uh, last, uh, think about the last evangelistic series virus or no virus did you come when the church had a midweek series a Wednesday prayer meeting or whatever day it was were you there this is a time to examine ourselves this is a time to examine ourselves because are we really zealous for the Lord I understand that we're in a situation right now and I'm not recommending people get together anymore. But when this crisis is over, where will you be? Would you, uh, are you still going to have the mentality of, oh, well, whenever it's convenient? Or will your perspective change when you get the opportunity, will you take advantage of it? So what do you do now? I mean, that's a, a strong statement of the idea of, I have my doubts about you. Paul wanted to be present with his people to, 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 to get them out of this, 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 this state of, 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 of drift, drifting away that they had from God. He wanted to change his tone and come in hard. He wanted to do that. He couldn't do it because he wasn't present with them. So what did he do? If you look at Galatians chapter 6, verse 11. See, with large letters, I have written to you with my own hand. He couldn't be present there with him. And so he used the best tool that he had at the time, writing messages. He wrote it with his own hand. So there's still a way for me to be able to share messages with you and maybe help you through your journey with the Lord. And that is to deliver messages. I can deliver messages through my blog, my ministry blog. I can deliver messages even we have even better technology today better tools today I can deliver messages like like on video like I'm doing right now now the Galatians had a choice they can either read the letter or they could just discard it you have a choice you can either watch these videos or you cannot you could read the, the messages I put on the blog or not I really hope I really hope that you don't lose your zeal for God although we are not present with each other so what are we gonna do 
what tools are we going to use? I'm going to keep putting videos out here on a regular basis. Uh, periodically, I may uh, put up a, a blog post that I'll write. Uh, also, on Saturday, I'm still going to have a, a sermon that's going to be streamed at 11.15. I want you, don't get together with people. However, if you're already in the same house, obviously, you can get together with your spouse, your children, or anybody else that lives in your house with you. Get together with them. Watch the sermon. Then, I will have discussion questions that you can talk about. They'll be provided for you. You, with whoever's in your home, discuss it. If uh, you're not with anybody else, and even if you're with somebody else, I still would like you to call somebody. I would like you to call at least one other family on Sabbath. I want you to talk about the Sabbath school before the sermon starts. Discuss it. I would like you to discuss the sermon and the discussion questions that I provide after the sermon. Do that. I encourage you, uh, Sabbath school leaders, to maybe devise a plan on how you can try to connect using technology. I'm going to provide in the in below information below here on my website wayngemil.com I'm going to provide information below on how you can uh, co connect I'm going to provide a, a phone line that you can use uh, that you uh, your people can connect with uh, on uh, you could sign up uh, using the phone uh, line and then you can give that phone number to other people and you can try to call each other during Sabbath school time and discuss the Sabbath school. Sabbath school leaders, I'm, I'm entrusting you to organize that. Uh, also, I'll provide a, a link to Zoom. Zoom is like a, a video conference thing, so if you can either use Zoom. I know that my youth group at Yonkers Church, you're going to be utilizing Zoom uh, or, or a telephone conference, something like that. Uh, use these opportunities. And then 1115, Stop uh, whatever you're doing on the phone line or Zoom, and I want everybody to tune in right here on the website, be here on the homepage, where you can watch uh, the sermon so we all can main, maintain a level of unity. Please, don't lose your zeal, although we are not present. There are ways that we can stay present with each other, although not physically there. Paul used letters. I will continue to, to use a message as a video. You continue to use the phone and Zoom and whatever it takes. Let us stay connected to each other so that our truth will not disappear, but our, the truth will be hidden in our hearts and we'll still be connected one to another. I'll keep updating you whenever I get updates on a regular basis. Thank you.